Bill is a cheeky little engine. He likes to have fun with his friends. He likes playing hide and peep with Ben. And he enjoys joking with James. One day, Bill was fitted with a brand new whistle. The whistle gleamed, and Bill beamed. And he blew it all day long. He blew it softly, and he blew it loudly. He blew it in stations, and he blew it in Misty Valley. Bill thought it was the most wonderful whistle he had ever had. Bill puffed into the wharf with a train of freight cars. Mr. Percival was there. Bill, the narrow gauge engines are bringing bricks, flour, and lumber. They must be loaded into your freight cars by supper time. Mr. Percival left. Bill felt very happy, so he blew his new whistle loudly. Duncan was surprised. He jumped and biffed into his flatbeds. Peter Sam and Sir Handel laughed. Even Duncan thought it was funny. That was fun, tooted Bill. Now he wanted to play more jokes and have more fun. So Bill jumped off to look for another engine to peep. Later, Duke puffed into the wharf. He was shunting cars full of bright red bricks. They were to be unloaded into Bill's empty freight cars. But Bill wanted to have more fun. He rode up behind Duke. Duncan and Peter Sam held their puff. Bill blew his new whistle. Beep! Duke jumped and he biffed his freight cars. Duke was covered in red brick dust. Peter, Sam, and Duncan both laughed. Bill thought it was great fun. Duke thought it was fun too. Now he wanted to join in. Can't catch me! Hooted Duke, and he steamed around the wharf. Bill puffed after him. Everyone was laughing and having fun, but no one collected their bricks. Then, Bill had another idea. Sir Handel will be arriving with the cars of flowers soon. He tooted. Why don't we all peep him at once? The little engines were excited. And they all found hiding places. As Sir Handel puffed into the wharf, there was nobody to be seen. Now, cried Bill. He blew his new whistle as loudly as he could. The little engines blew their whistles too. Sir Handel biffed his freight cars in surprise. Flower flew up into the air like a great white cloud. You look like a ghost," laughed Duke. "Ooh," laughed Sir Handel. "Look at me! I'm a ghost!" And he steamed away. Soon, all the engines were chasing each other, and no one was doing any work. Bill had another idea. Freddy is on his way. Let's peep him as well. And the little engines agreed this was a very good idea. Freddy trundled into the wharf. Bill got ready with his whistle. The little engines got ready too. Beep! Freddy shot forward. He bashed his flatbed so hard they burst through the buffers, smashed through the oil drums stacked on the wharf, and splashed into the canal. Oh my! Cried the little engines. Bust my buffers! Cried Bill. Mr. Percival arrived at the wharf. What has been going on here? He said sternly. There are bricks all over the rails, flour all over the warehouse, and now lumber is in the canal. I'm sorry, sir. Wished Bill sadly. It's all my fault. I just wanted to play jokes and have fun. Mr. Percival was very cross. 
You must clear up this mess at once," he cried. "And your freight cars must be ready by supper time." As soon as the workmen had reloaded their brakes, Bill started to work. But the little engines still wanted to play. They wanted to wish the dust and flower at each other. No more jokes," whistled Bill. "We have work to do." And he shunted the freight cars into a siding. New cars of flour were now ready, and Bill took them to the sidings as well. At last, the workmen had the lumber wagons ready, and Bill shunted them into the siding too. Finally. Bill had one long train of bricks, flour, and lumber, and it wasn't even supper time. Mr. Percival came back. He saw Bill, but Bill was hiding his freight cars. "Where are your freight cars?" said Mr. Percival crossly. Bill smiled. He was playing a trick. He puffed forward slowly. "Here they are, sir," he whistled happily. Loaded up and ready to go, the little engines laughed, and Mr. Percival laughed too. Bill, he said, "That was a great joke. You are a really funny engine." And Bill puffed happily away. <laughs>